Oh, hey guys, I would just want to wish you a happy Thanksgiving. I'm so thankful for you all out there who are watching my videos, and just liking them, commenting, and just sharing with your friends. And tomorrow is Black Friday. So if you're thinking about buying something big, buy a house and listen to the tips in the next video. Hey everyone, I'm John Byrne and welcome to Thirsty Thursdays, where I help you quench your thirst for real estate knowledge. So in my two short years of real estate, I have seen it all. I've seen shag carpeting. I've seen toilet seats left open when I've gone to showings and I've seen avocado appliances. These are things that sellers aren't required to update, but as a buyer, if you see this seller's laziness, it could be a potential win for you to make some money on your purchase. So I'm gonna give you three things that you should ignore when you're looking at new houses. So the first thing that you should ignore when you're looking at a house is old wallpaper and dirty carpets. Yes, they're gonna distract you a little bit, but they're minor fixes that won't cost you that much money. Another thing that you can do is maybe ask for the sellers to do it prior to closing so it's not a cost to you. So the second thing that you need to ignore when you're looking for your new house is rooms that are strangely used. Now, if you walk into a house and one of the bedrooms is being used as a closet, or the dining room is being used as an office, and you really want that to be a formal dining room where you host your holiday parties, look past it. If you can see your stuff in the house, if you can see the potential that's there, even around all the strange stuff that the seller has in the house, that is a benefit to you because most buyers out there can't see that. And because most buyers can't see that, Maybe the house has been sitting there for a while and maybe you can get a really good deal because of that. So the last thing that you need to ignore when you're looking for your new home is a too strong of a seller's presence. So you walk into the house and there's family photos everywhere and there's diplomas from the college that they graduated in. Look, look away from it. Get it out of your head you're gonna paint those walls anyways because you're gonna have to fill in all those little holes from all those family photos everywhere. Um, look past it. And again, maybe the seller's there, but maybe the seller has been there for every single showing that's ever happened. And most buyers don't feel like they can talk to their agent when they're there. That could be a selling feature for you too because maybe most people have walked by it and they're too weirded out by the seller being there. So you finally throw in an offer because the house has been sitting there for five months and you get a great deal. Thank you guys for watching. Again, happy Thanksgiving. Enjoy your meals out there and I will see you next week.